It's time for the Longines Chronoscope, a television journal of the important issues of the hour, brought to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. A presentation of the Longines Whitnor Watch Company, maker of Longines, the world's most honored watch, and Whitnor, distinguished companion to the world-honored Longines. Good evening, this is Frank Knight. May I introduce our co-editors for this edition of the Longines Chronoscope? Mr. Hardy Burt, noted author and correspondent, and Mr. John S. Young, well-known commentator. Our distinguished guest for this evening is the Honorable George A. Dondero, United States Congressman from Michigan. Congressman Dondero, welcome to the Chronoscope, sir. <coughs> now, uh, you have been known as a longtime advocate of the St. Lawrence Seaway, which, if it were built, would link the Atlantic Ocean with the Great Lakes. That's correct. Uh, how long have you been battling for the seaway? About 18 years. It's been a controversial matter for that long. And longer. Now, uh, we first would like to ask you, in your opinion, what are the advantages to your state of Michigan and the people of the United States of having this seaway constructed as you would like it? Furnishing uh, cheap cost, water transportation to the ports of the world, uh, making it possible for s iron ore to come to the present uh, steel center in the Pittsburgh area, from which uh, Michigan, and especially the Detroit area, receives its steel for the making of automobiles where we have the automobile capital of the world. The automobile industry is very much for the seaway, I suppose. They are. I see, sir. Well, oh, Mr. Congressman, every president of the United States since Harding has urged the construction...